in context, the book of Revelation is talking about the same things that Jesus talked about in Matthew 24 and in Luke 21. And it's about the end of the old covenant age. So literally, when it's talking about the lake of fire, the literal meaning is the same as Gehenna. Um, and in that perspective, Gehenna was going to be the place where those who stayed in Jerusalem in the old covenant and didn't follow Jesus into the new and got saved and all Christians left Jerusalem when they saw the armies approaching. That's the context. And part of our problem is we're so conditioned into looking at these things from our previous understanding that when you see in English, it says devil and angels, you immediately think of devil and fallen angels. But in reality, in context, the words aren't um, capital letters applying specifically to fallen beings. They can equally apply to human beings. So angelos or messenger can be applied to people as well as an angel. And in the New Testament, that word in Greek is translated a number of times, messenger, when it's talking about people. Um, and therefore, devil, which is like diabolos or accuser, you know, that type of thing. Well, that can also be applied and was applied in the New Testament in Greek to a number of different people. So in context, you could say that that was talking about the high priest and all of the Pharisees and Sadducees who were persecuting the church and who stayed in Jerusalem following the old covenant. Now, that being said, there, there are figurative reasons for things as well. So in what you're asking the question, when people die and they're not in a relationship with Jesus that they have come into by realization themselves, then they're going to go into the fire of God's presence, into his love for that process of refining and purification. And they stay there as long as they choose to resist the offer of salvation through Jesus. Um, now, the salvation's already accomplished for them, but they haven't accepted it. Now, there are those obviously who are believers who, when they go into the realms of heaven, may go into the realms of heaven at various stages or states of maturity. And some may have accepted Jesus on their deathbed in their last breath, because the Father told me that Jesus visits everyone as the light on their deathbed and offers them the opportunity of accepting him at that moment and going into heaven into a relationship with him so those that accept that have never had a relationship with jesus this side of death so they enter into there and they then are aware of all of the things that have happened in their life so god wipes away their tears and forgives releases his forgiveness to them so they're not bound down by regret or all those things now, rather than going to a place of refining fire, they go and every believer goes to the judgment seat of Christ, which is a place of fire, but it's the fire of God's presence and eyes who purifies their scrolls. So literally, I've been there myself a number of times. I presented my scroll. God looked at the scroll front and back and in that process, his, the fire from his eyes purified all the wood, hay and straw and just uh, accentuated the gold, silver and precious stones and made more space available on my scroll for more gold, hay, uh, gold, silver and precious stones. And God doesn't want us to be tied to the past. And as Jesus has already dealt with everything from the past, we just come into a realization of that and realize how much he loves us and how much he wants us to be in a relationship with him which is not limited by anything so when people who know jesus enter into the heavens after death then they go through a refining process in but a, um, a wiping away all tears then dealing with the past and then they move on to their eternal destiny from a heavenly perspective because they haven't finished they just continue into that realm if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.